Hi there, I'm Rami from Ledger, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Ledger recovery key. Your secret recovery phrase is the cornerstone of secure self-custody. That's why it is paramount to have safe and accessible backups of your secret recovery phrase to ensure you're always in control of your crypto in the event you lose or get locked out of your Ledger device. We know managing your secret recovery phrase can feel like a big responsibility. Thankfully, Ledger Recovery Key is a quick and easy way to back up and safely store a copy of your secret recovery phrase with confidence. In this video, I'll explain what Ledger Recovery Key is, how to set it up, and how to restore access to your crypto assets using this convenient and secure physical backup. Ledger Recovery Key is a durable 5 cm square card that contains a backup of your fire keys. It contains a secret element to safely store your 24-word secret recovery phrase offline with no third-party involvement or KYC requirements. Recovery Key isn't a hardware wallet. You cannot manage your crypto assets from the Recovery Key. The card is only usable for secure storage of your cryptographic secrets. Think of it as a pin-protected spare key for your digital assets. Complementing your recovery sheet, Ledger Recovery Key offers a private, stress-free way to back up your secret recovery phrase without compromising on security. Ledger Recovery Key is designed for use with only genuine Ledger touchscreen devices with NFC compatibility. When you use your recovery key, a genuine check is performed between your Ledger device and the recovery key, confirming authenticity through mutual verification between the secret element chips in both devices. While Recovery Key offers remarkable convenience and security, it does not replace the handwritten recovery sheet, which remains the foundation of your crypto self-custody. There are two ways to get a Ledger Recovery Key. The first is as a standalone product. Inside the box, you will have a Recovery Key and a RFID blocking sleeve. This sleeve protects your Recovery Key from unwanted NFT signals when not in use and adds an extra layer of protection from accidental or harmful scans. The second way to get a recovery key is by purchasing a new Ledger Stacks or Ledger Flex device. In the device box, you will have a Ledger recovery key with an RFID blocking sleeve, plus your new Ledger device, a USB-C cable, three blank recovery sheets, a quick start guide, and a leaflet with the use, care, and regulatory details. If you receive a recovery key as a part of your new Ledger device purchase and haven't set it up yet, we recommend you pause this video and go check out our setup tutorials for either Ledger Stacks or Ledger Flex. You can find those links below. After you have followed the onboarding process, including recording your 24 words on the provided recovery sheet, you can come back here to set up your recovery key. Now, let's begin our recovery key setup. For this video, we will be using a touchscreen Ledger device, the Ledger Lite app on a mobile phone, and of course, a Ledger recovery key. First, make sure the operating system on your Ledger device is up to date. Open Ledger Live, tap My Ledger in the bottom right corner, then select your Ledger device. Unlock your Ledger device with your PIN code. You will then see a notification in Ledger Live if an update is available. If prompted, follow the on-screen instructions to ensure your Ledger device OS is up to date. Now, let's start the process of setting up our backup on Ledger Recovery Key. Unlock your Ledger device, open Settings, and tap Ledger Recovery Key. Your Ledger device will then look to establish an NFC connection with a nearby Ledger Recovery Key. Remove the RFID sleeve and bring your recovery key to the back of your Ledger device. Here is the optimal positioning to ensure the connection between your Ledger Recovery Key and your Ledger Flex, and here with Ledger Stacks. For security, the NFC connection is only active for a brief window. If you time out, don't worry, just tap Try Again and immediately place your recovery key on the back of your Ledger device. Hold your recovery key in place until the connection is established. You will see a message on your Ledger device prompting you to start setting up your backup. Take a moment to compare the ID etched on your physical recovery key to the ID that appears on your Ledger device. Once confirmed, select Start Setup on your Ledger device. Then, for security, you will need to re-enter your PIN for your Ledger device. Tap to continue. You will then be prompted to create a new 4 to 8 digit PIN for your recovery key. This PIN can be whatever you like, but we recommend using a strong PIN that is difficult to guess and avoids common sequences, like birth years. Make sure it is something you can remember in the future, as you will need to input this PIN anytime you use your recovery key. 
enter the pin incorrectly three times and your recovery key will automatically reset, permanently erasing the backup. This is one of the reasons why it's so important to still keep a handwritten recovery sheet with your 24-word secret recovery phrase. That way, you can still access your assets even if you get locked out of your recovery key backup due to multiple failed PIN inputs. Now, let's continue the setup of your ledger recovery key. Tap I understand, enter your recovery key PIN, then enter it again to confirm. Now we're ready to create our backup. Tap to continue, then place the recovery key on the back of your ledger device. Hold it in place until the backup is created. You will receive a notification on your ledger device once the backup is complete. And that's it, your spare key is now set up. If you want, take a moment and name your recovery key. Tap to continue, then select Name it now. You can name your recovery key whatever you wish. Once you're happy with your name, tap Confirm Name, then enter your recovery key PIN to confirm. Place your recovery key on the back of your ledger device and hold it in place until you receive a confirmation message. Naming your recovery key is helpful if you ever plan on using multiple recovery keys. For extra organization, you can also write the name of your recovery key in the box on your RFID sleeve for quick reference. If you ever decide to change your recovery key name, PIN code, or if you want to reset your recovery key, it's an easy process. Unlike your ledger device, open your settings, tap Ledger Recovery Key, and then place your recovery key on the back of your ledger device. Hold it there until the connection is established. And then tap Unlock to manage. Input your PIN code and follow the on-screen instructions. From there, you can manage your recovery key name, PIN code, or reset your recovery key. Now that our recovery key is set up, it's easy to restore crypto assets with just a few simple actions. Whether you're using a brand new device or a ledger that has been reset, the process for restoring your assets is the same. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to enter my ledger PIN code incorrectly three times in a row, causing the device to reset and clear the recovery phrase. With the reset device, tap to continue through the initial messages. And then select if you want to set up your device with either Ledger Live Mobile or Ledger Live Desktop. For this tutorial, we will be using the mobile option. Once you see the QR code, open your Ledger Live app on your phone, tap My Ledger at the bottom right corner, then select the available Ledger device. Note that because your Ledger device has reset, the name for your Ledger will appear differently than what you had named it previously. Once paired, your device will undergo a genuine check and OS update if needed. Tap Check Ledger on your phone and follow the on-screen prompts. Once the checks are complete, tap Continue to set up. Now, use your Ledger device to continue the setup and give your ledger a unique name. And then create a four to eight digit pin code for your ledger device. This can be the same pin code you had previously. Now you start the process of restoring your crypto assets with the backup on your recovery key. On your ledger device, select restore access to assets, then tap the ledger recovery key option. Follow the on-screen prompts, then place your recovery key next to your ledger device. Hold your recovery key in place until the NFC connection is established. If you have multiple recovery keys, double check the name or ID of your recovery key on your ledger device to ensure you're using the intended backup. Now enter your recovery key PIN code while keeping your recovery key on the back of your ledger device. If your PIN is correct, your recovery key will begin transferring a copy of your private keys to your ledger device.
you will receive a confirmation message once the restoration is complete. Congrats, you have successfully learned how to backup and restore your crypto assets using your ledger recovery key. Managing your secret recovery phrase can be the most stressful part of self-custody, but it is also the most important. Ledger recovery key is a major stepping stone towards making secure self-custody more accessible for everyone, offering robust protection with the ease of use, all without ever compromising your ability to access your assets. If you want to review a specific topic, you can scroll through the chapters below. Interested in other recovery solutions to back up your secret recovery phrase? Be sure to check out our video on Ledger Recover and the additional resources on our Ledger Academy website. We'll share the links below. Thanks for watching this Ledger tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions or comments, let us know. Till next time, stay secure.